Hi, my loves. Welcome back to the Stars Cartel channel. If you don't know, I am Star. Y'all, I'm about to go ahead and do these voiceover videos for tomorrow. Because I'm tired. And I see already by the current events that's going on tonight. That I'm going to be taking me a break tomorrow. I'm taking an off day tomorrow. But as y'all already know, even when I'm having me an off day, I still post. So... I'm here with a dream. In his dream, I'm riding on a freeway with my son's father. We are taking my son to several different events. So in his dream, it's kind of like when we were together, we would hang out on the weekends. We would take our son out to different places, make sure he had a good time. And then we go back to the house. However, as we are traveling around um, the freeway that is called the Loop in Houston, Wind pulls my son out of his seat and somehow out of the car. And we have to hurry to go and retrieve him because it's like, it's like the Mary Poppins thing. Like he flew up and then he landed um, on a street above the freeway. So we are rushing to go and get him. And as this is going on, I'm pulled out the car. And... He just keep by himself. I would keep going. Like, I was in a spot where I could have, like, easily ran and got in the car. But he kept going because he wasn't thinking about me. And he was just thinking about our son. So, I end up in some, like, this little tiny car. Okay? And I'm trying to get to my son. Just like he's trying to get to my son. Obviously, he gets to him faster. As I'm trying to get to my son, I'm not paying attention to the road. And there's an area where the road falls off and I almost go off of a cliff. However, I am like I somehow catch my balance. I feel like something pulling me back when I get out of this little car. There's a dog there. OK, I look and it's Snickers. OK, and for those of you that don't know, Snickers passed away. OK, so Snickers is there. And um, I turn and I see my son's father laughing like he thought it was funny that I was about to fall off the cliff. He did not help me. And I was like, I can't believe you didn't try to help me. So, anywho, um, I carry on on the little, in the little, well, I have a bike now. I'm not on in the little car anymore. I have a bike and I'm riding my bike and my son's father and my son are in his car. Okay. They going and I'm going. We somehow end up in an apartment complex. It seems quiet, but um, and I'm saying this like it's really quiet. I can't believe it's so quiet. And he's saying, no, that's probably just during the day. At nighttime, it's probably real rowdy or whatever. Then he pulls off. And I'm kind of like, where are you going? Okay. And, you know, in reality, we were having like, it's kind of like we were having a family day. And then out of nowhere, the family was ripped apart. You know what I'm saying? So I end up riding the bike um, through the grass. I'm trying to get to the concrete. And a deer comes out of nowhere. So this deer looks so innocent and so sweet, but it starts trying to attack me. And I'm like, hold on, okay? And there's a guy standing nearby. And in real life, I know this guy, but he's standing nearby and he sees me. Um, I'm getting ready to get attacked by a deer, okay? A baby deer at that. And he comes over. I think it's called a doe. Comes over and he intervenes and um, he is like, oh, you about to get, I think he called it a bear. He was like, oh, this bear messing with you. And he shoes it away. And um, he asked me if I called him. Like I said, there's somebody I actually know. And I say no. And then he looks down. He was like, oh, I thought you was going to be trying to get your tire fixed. And I looked and the bicycle had a hole in the tire. And I was like, I didn't even notice that. So he calls somebody over to fix my flat tire. And then I hear the song. Angel by Shaggy. Um, let me look up the lyrics real quick. Now this one, okay, I can skip that part. Girl, you're my angel. You're my darling angel. Closer than my peeps, you are to me. 
Shorty, you're my angel. You're my darling angel. You're my friend when I'm in need. Life is one big party when you're still young, but who's going to have your back when it's all done? It's all good when you're little, you have pure fun. Can't be a fool, son. What about the long run? Looking back, shorty always a mention. Said me not giving her attention. She was there through my incarceration. I want to show the nation my appreciation. Girl, you're my angel. You're my darling angel. Closer than my peeps you are to me. Starting, you're my angel. You're my darling angel. You're my friend when I'm in need. Oh, this is so sweet. Okay. You're a queen and that's how you should be treated. Though you never get the loving that you needed. Could have left, but I called you when you heeded. Begged and I pleaded, mission completed. Mama said that I, this the program, not the type to mess around with her emotion. But the feeling that I have for you is so strong. Been together so long and this could never go wrong. The scripture comes from Jeremiah 23 and 16. This is what the Lord Almighty said. Do not listen to what the prophets are prophesying to you. They fill you with false hopes. They speak visions from their own minds, not from the mouth of the Lord. They keep saying to those who despise me, the Lord says you will have peace. And to all who follow the stubbornness of their hearts, they say no harm will come to you. But which of them has stood in the counsel of the Lord to see or to hear his word? Who has listened or heard his word? See, the storm of the Lord will burst out, out in wrath, a whirlwind swirling down on the heads of the wicked. The anger of the Lord will not turn back until he fully accomplishes the purposes of his heart. In days to come, you will understand it clearly. I did not send these prophets, yet they have run with their messages. I did not speak to them, yet they have prophesied. Who? Baby, this was a long dream, a long scripture, a long message. But here's what God is saying. For whoever this is for, you know, um, I just felt like in this dream, I was just getting the short end of the stick all around. You know what I'm saying? From just, it was, everything was all good. And then something just happened out of nowhere. My son was just like an angel swooped in and pulled him out the car. Then an angel came in and pulled me out the car. And, you know, the car kept going. And I just think um, it's understood that his father would go after him first because that's his main objective. I feel like what, what was emotional about it, what was bothering about it is that even when he did come back to pick me up, I didn't get back in his car. So it was kind of like, you know, and then he was just standing there like he was expecting me to fall off the cliff. And he was laughing like it would have been funny for me to fall. And this is not a situation where I would have fell, you know, just a couple feet or a few steps. I would have fell like several feet down. You know what I'm saying? Uh, to an end. OK, so this is somebody that. You may have found yourself in a position to where you were really struggling. You were really doing bad and you have felt as though you've been left out to dry. Like you just been left. Oh, well, too bad by the wayside. It don't matter. And <clears throat> in this situation, I'm going to be real and say that I was not completely not at fault because I wasn't paying attention to where I was going. And the gap that was there is no reason that I should have kept going. And the gap was right there. But I wasn't thinking clearly. And I just feel like for somebody, this could be a situation where you may have led yourself into this little pit. You may have led yourself into this little area. So where you're getting ready to fall over and you, you're about to go face first. But God sent an angel. And like I said, for those of you that don't know, Snickers is no longer with us. And in this dream, she came through and pulled me by the back of my clothes and pulled me back onto the land so I didn't fall down there. And, you know, even with the song being angel, okay? Now, this other person that was in the apartment complex, as far as I know, I haven't 
talked to this person in a long time. But as far as I know, he ain't ain't nothing happened to him. Uh, okay, and you know, I don't wish that on nobody. But like, even in this situation, this person came out of nowhere. I didn't see him there at first. But he saw me. And he was concerned about me. Whereas somebody else that I thought would, like, you know, help me just drove off. He came and he concerned himself with me. He said, did you call me? No, I didn't call you. But since you're here, okay. <laughs> he, like, it's kind of a situation where I was literally telling him, no, I didn't call you. No, why are you, like, what are you talking about? And he helped me. He shooed away the harm, the danger that was near me. He helped me. He saw that my tire was flat, called somebody to help me fix my flat tire. And I just feel like for whoever this is for, you may be in a position right now where you are really concerned about somebody else, regardless if this person is your child or if this person is um, like, you know, whatever it is. I just feel like God is saying that this is not a moment and a time where he wants you to be stressed out about that because you need to get yourself together even in this dream they was good like as they drove off they driving out into the sunset in the car and they good and i'm the one that's on this tricycle on this this bicycle with a flat tire about to get attacked by a deer in the middle of the hood okay <laughs> that's what... <laughs> i just feel like god is saying worry about yourself worry about yourself and just like it say in the scripture there, even if what it looks like to you is like your sudden, like you about to reach a sudden doom, everything about to fall apart. Everything is about to be shaky. The world is about to do this and the world is about to. God said, don't worry about that. Don't worry about what it looked like. It can look like what it looked like, but he still got you. God got you. Don't worry about what other things is going on. Don't worry about how it feel. You might have thought that somebody was going to help you. You might have thought that, you know, if it's a person that you always be able to call them when you're going through it, you always could call them and they would help you. And out of nowhere, they don't want to help you no more. It is what it is. God is saying, don't stress yourself about that because he going to come through for you with an angel. And, you know, I just feel like this is so, this dream so relative to me right now. And I had this dream last night and today I feel it. And I'm just saying, you know, I have experienced this in my life to where, you know, you have somebody that you care about this person and they care about you and they have your back no matter what. God is saying, you never know somebody will switch on you in a dime. You never know who they'll start trying to listen to idle gossip. They'll start trying to judge you because this going on, that going on, all kind of thing. God said, don't worry about what it looked like. Don't worry about the lies that you hear. Don't worry about. And, and I, I just feel like for somebody, don't worry about it. Like it don't look right to you. Just like when I was about to go down over the cliff. It like it would it makes no sense that I ended up not going over the cliff. He was standing there, he was laughing, he ain't helped me. And nobody else stopped to help me. Uh angel like the, the dog is no longer with us, y'all. And it popped up out of nowhere and pulled me back up on the on the on the solid ground. And the second part, the little deer was getting ready to attack me. Wasn't nobody there to help me. They didn't already pull it off. You know what I'm saying? And somebody that was just a bystander standing right there that I knew from way back when. And it's somebody that I didn't got into it with a few times. Okay, we didn't we didn't got into a, 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 a little scuffle a couple times. This person stopped like, did you call me? Oh, you didn't call me? But let me help you real quick. And I just feel like God is saying that, first of all, help will come to you in mysterious ways at this time. Don't believe everything that you hear at this time. Just because you uh receive a message of damnation at this time do not mean that that's really what's going to happen to you. And it's okay if you have to thug it out by yourself. It's okay if somebody want to tell, you know what I'm saying? If somebody want to tell you certain things, you know, what I mean? it's okay. It's okay if you receive news that sounds like nonsense. God is saying for some of you, there are people that are trying to tell you things to make you upset. They want to get you frustrated. They want to get you irritated. But God said, uh-uh, that's not your portion. We are not in a season of war right now. God said, let him handle it. 
whatever it is that you're going through. Whatever it is that you are going through at this time, let him handle it. And, you know, even as I am um, recording this message, there are certain things that I could say right now. But God holding me back from saying it. And for some of you, God is saying that there are certain things that don't even need to be said. Like, I just feel like um, you don't have to share everything with everybody. So when God is blessing you, you don't have to share everything with everybody because some people really be hating. Some people really be mad. You know what I'm saying? Like, some people really be mad. Uh, Y'all already know your girl is in a situation where I don't, this is not my house. I cannot, like, the way that I really, when I cook, the way that I really would cook, I can't cook like that because this is my mama house, okay? And 9 out of 10, she in the kitchen. And, you know, if she not in the kitchen, and eat, like, you know, I get in, I go in the kitchen, get ready to cook, and she'll try to, th she she don't want me to do this, she don't want me to do that. And, I like, you know what I'm saying? I'd rather just order my food. It's just easier for me. I don't have a car to go to a grocery store to get the ingredients I need. I don't have the space to put the things that I need where I need it. I don't have this. I don't have that. It's just a lot easier. And even though for most people it is not, it's easier for me to order my food. And but due to the way that I eat, I can have one meal and it lasts me a couple days. But from somebody else, they will see that and they will think, oh, she thinks she all that. She always eating out and she always doing this and she always doing. They don't even know what's really going on with me. They don't even like, you know what I'm saying? But I just feel like in my position, it's cheaper for me. In my position, it's better for me. In my position, that's what works for me. And like I said, I, I use coupons and all kind of stuff. But I don't have to, I don't feel like I should have to explain that to nobody. Because in reality, it's not their business. I eat on leftovers for days. But I don't have to explain that to nobody. Because in reality, that's not their business. They're not concerned about if I eat. They're concerned about what I'm eating and how can I afford to do this and how can I afford to do that. God said, don't worry about that. Don't stress about that. Don't worry about no false prophets. Don't worry about nobody that's going around lying on you. Don't worry about nobody that's going around trying to conjure up mess, thinking that they are going to be able to make you miserable by doing things to do this, that, and the third. They are the ones that are going to be miserable, says the Lord. And that's the message. That is the message. God said he is going to shock you. Angels will appear out of nowhere. God will use people that you wouldn't even expect him to use to help you in your time of need. Whew, that's the message. Thank you guys for watching. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe. Deuces.